Hello everyone, hope you've been enjoying the class so far. Now the interesting thing about this next recipe called Singapore noodles is that it does not even originate from Singapore. Anyways, the best way to learn things like this is go to the Asians. They will teach you how to make this noodle and that's exactly what I did on your behalf. So get ready to learn. Now let's start. First is our beef. Now you're going to cut your beef into thin slices like this exactly. And so next is the orange bell peppers and scotch bonnets and of course our vermicelli noodles also known as rice sticks and of course you also have your carrots and your bell peppers not the way i chopped them and then you have your shrimps you have your worcestershire sauce and you also have your soy sauce i'm using light soy sauce for this recipe and next you're going to be using your spring onions and the most important part of this recipe is curry it is so important next you have your minced garlic and onions and i'll be adding this light brown sugar cane for this particular recipe and of course eggs it's so important so now that you have our beef it's already cleaned and washed i sprinkled some of that sugar into it and then i'll be using my worcestershire sauce until that about a tablespoon is fine stir that together this is going to be used to marinate that beef allow that to stay for at least 30 minutes before you begin to start making it next is our eggs guys make sure you use fresh eggs i'm going to be cracking some eggs into a bowl i'm going to be using about five eggs for this recipe the number of eggs you use depends on the quantity of the michelin noodles you're going to be using i'm going to be using about one and a half pack that i'll be showing you very soon once you have your eggs i'm going to be adding some sprig onions this is just me i love doing this i love that flavor that it gives my eggs i'm going to be adding salt here i'm using my peak himalayan salt but you know definitely you can use your normal tables salt right after you put the salt just a pinch of salt is fine next you're going to whisk all this lovely goodness together you want it to be properly whisked because you don't want the egg white separating from the yolk that's what i was exactly doing here once it's properly whisked just set that aside now here is our vermicelli noodles or rice sticks usually it has about three in the pack and this is what i'm just showing you i'm going to be using one and a half for this recipe i'm just going to take out one it is just so nice guys it feels like noodles just your regular noodles but this is a lot slimmer and it's a lot lighter than noodles so that's one of the pack and then i broke one into half and this is what you have here next i've already boiled water on fire i'm going to be pouring that into my rice sticks you don't have to cook it on fire all you have to do is just to pour hot water over it and make sure it is submerged in that hot water you're going to leave it for about three minutes max because guys it's going to cook that noodle so you're going to leave it in that hot water you don't have to cover it necessarily after three minutes is what we have look at how it's already soft you don't want it to be too soft so the next thing we're going to do guys is to now sieve this in a sieve and that's exactly what you're going to be seeing me do here i'm going to pour that into a sieve and then i'm just going to leave it there all you have to do is now make that amazing sauce for this vermicelli noodles i already have my wok on fire i always like to heat up my pan before i pour in my oil here you already know me we're using our flavored oil and i like you to use yours too you have that flavored oil i'm going to swirl it around the pan because you want it to just go everywhere and then put that meat that has been marinated for about 30 minutes now watch the transition here you're going to notice that the beef is going to be getting tender and the color of the liquid in the pan is also going to change first you have the beef bringing out its juice and now you just have oil that means that the juice from the meat has been absorbed and it is now fully cooked and that's what we have again this has to be on low heat now next you're going to put another oil not the little quantity of oil i've been using you're going to now pour that egg that has been whisked guys now there's a method to this particular one i did not just want to scramble the eggs i wanted large chunks in my vermicelli noodles or in my singapore noodles so i decided to do this instead now watch what i'm doing notice i always like to allow the oil to go around the pan that's because you want to create that non-stick part of the pan now i'm going to gently Pull up the egg exactly. Can you see that? Pull up the eggs nicely so that more of that liquid can go towards the pan and it keeps solidifying until you have a full 
egg i hope that makes sense this is exactly what i'm trying to do here i didn't want a case where i would scramble that egg so i would try as much as possible to ensure that the liquid part of the eggs goes into the pan it solidifies and then i put my spoon under and then i move it again just so that it keeps going on and on and after a little while i'm going to flip this egg because i want a whole egg now i wasn't able to achieve the full egg which is that when i flipped it it split into half but it's still fine because i do not have that scrambled eggs that i didn't want i just wanted large chunks so if you want to do it like me it's pretty much fine i'm looking for this brown color on my eggs because it just shows that your egg is fully ready and this is my preference i love that lovely brown color it also adds its own texture to your food so guys this is what we have for the eggs and then i'm going to be taking this out and keeping it in another pan i'm going to also slice it into little squares which you're going to see later so now let's take it out this is the first part just look at that color guys it's so good and then i'm going to be taking the second part out also and again guess what we're going to again pour some oil into that hot pan please note that this is on low heat that's why you can see that nothing is burning the intention is not to burn we just want to get flavor from what we are cooking putting your onions and your diced garlic or your minced garlic when i say minced garlic it means that i grated that garlic now you're going to add in your shrimps i have not put any seasoning into that shrimp so i just put a little bit of seasoning into that shrimp stir that together and watch it cook you know your shrimp should be overcooked so at least for five minutes you're going to allow that to cook and then take that out look at that color uh -uh. guys i hope you're enjoying this class <laughs> So I'm going to take it out. What you see that is left in that pan is not the shrimp, but it is the tail. I love to leave that tail in that oil because it's going to get really crispy. Now I'm putting in my veggies. Carrot has gone in. Red bell peppers has gone in. Scotch bonnet has gone in. And the orange bell peppers have gone in. A little bit of scotch bonnet to just give it heat. The main ingredients are the carrots, the red bell peppers, and the orange bell peppers. You can add green bell peppers if you like, but this is what i'm using for this recipe put that little bit of seasoning again because you want to season these vegetables now again it's on low heat you do not want it to overcook you're just going to allow it to stir and cook slowly i had to taste the veggies and at this point it was amazing the garlic the onions everything was fantastic then you're going to add that cooked metallic noodles that we had earlier stir that together with your tongue now guys you don't want to just use any method in stirring this you want to just do the pick and drop pick and drop pick and drop that's the best way otherwise it's going to be messy so you just want to do that pick and drop and in a few minutes you should have a fully stirred vermicelli noodles or if you don't want to do this just use two spoons in stirring next i'm going to be adding my light soy sauce this is about two to three tablespoons and then the most important part of every vermicelli noodles or singapore noodles is curry curry is the secret ingredient do not even miss it at all now this is me now stirring it together aside the color that it gives it gives it that distinct taste now if you go to a chinese restaurant it's exactly how they make that singapore noodles take that to the bank guys <laughs> now you're going to stir that together you want all that ingredient that we just put in to go into that vermicelli noodles i'm still going to say it again please guys low heat nothing is burning here you're going to put in that eggs can you see that chunk of eggs that i've sliced it looks so good and it doesn't look messy at all put in that beef put in that shrimp you know all of that flavor from the egg to the beef to the shrimp everything Thing is what contributes to making your Singapore noodles the best Singapore noodles ever. It's even better than the one you get at a restaurant, guys. This is a original Chinese Asian Singapore noodles try it out and let me know what you think again this is on low heat you do not want to burn anything at all one of the secrets of good cooking is slow cooking not everything has to be heat not everything has to be high heat otherwise you're just going to burn out all the flavors the juices you will get from your meat you wouldn't get it the flavors you will get from your shrimps you wouldn't get it so low heat all the time please add some spring onions as garnish and garnish 
guys just look at this just look at this it looks so good it tastes so amazing this particular one i couldn't even wait so i'm going to show you this is me eating it i had to serve it first just so it looks so nice for you guys because everything is for you huh you're going to serve it into a place of choice and guys just look at everything closely the beef everything we use to marinate it can you see how everything comes together and of course this was me tasting the work of my hands <laughs> so try yours and also taste the work of your hands and see that it is good so good so i need you to try it out you're going to expect more videos from me so try this out and let me know what you think once again please react to this video when you've seen it because more are going to be coming